Hola, ¿qué pasa, campeones? D-Spot here, coming with the Copa del Rey draw, live as usual on YouTube. Had to pop it up, of course, because that's what I do. Anything where Barça is, that is where you'll find D-Spot. And on an important day, such as today, in this Copa del Rey, it couldn't be any different, of course. We have to hold on tight. Um, it is called the... Uh, heating in this house isn't working, <laughs> so I'm uh, kicking back and hoping that uh, the Copa del Rey draw is going to warm me up a little bit. Thanks for joining the show. If you're new to this channel, you already know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you care about all things Barca, Spanish football, La Liga, Champions League, whatever it might be, subscribe to this channel because D-Spot gets you closer to the Barca action than any other YouTube channel out there. I don't care who it is. Nobody is as close as passionate to Barca than me. And you guys, of course, the D-Spot loyals. So make sure you hit that notification button too. I've been getting a lot of you guys saying that, uh, you know, you miss a lot of the videos so make sure you click that notification button so that every time i pop up spontaneously like i am doing now um you know you don't miss anything let me give you guys a quick view of what i'm looking at right now i see all the d-spot usuals in the house cecilia good to see you you able to catch the show show cecilia good to see you there mohammed in the house what's good man what's going on mohammed max I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you, Maximus. Harry Potter. A la Madrid, of course. Our Madridista friend in the house as well. I'm curious who you would like to draw if you're if you want un coco, un grande, a big team like the likes of Barça Atletico, in the hope that you know maybe Real Madrid can respond from this dark phase that they're going through, or if you would prefer an easy team. Johnny Carlos in the house saying, I wouldn't mind getting Real Madrid. Combo, what's going on? How are you feeling about Dembele? I'm feeling very good about Dembele. I'm not one who is uh, going on the, the critique mode on Dembele because, you know, he just came back very recently. We got to be patient with this kid. He's got so much potential. I'm really enjoying what I'm watching from him. Christine, what's going on, Christine? I was commenting on your reply now. I just commented on yours earlier. Good to see you on the live chat, on the live stream, I should say. Um, let me give you guys a quick glimpse as I see Misha saying, who would you like to draw? I would like to see un derby catalan. I would like to draw Espanol. I think that would be good. So last time I did this, I got to check. Hold on. Last time I did this, the audio uh, went down significantly. And uh, so I don't know if the, uh, I guess the microphone is on this side. And if I have it, if I flip the camera onto the other side, then uh, you guys can't hear me as well. But, uh, but this is what I'm watching. There, of course, the main debate is, does Barca want Real Madrid? Uh, let me not do that for too long, otherwise YouTube will uh, suspend the old account. Uh, even though, you know, I'm a little channel. I see so much, it's so funny. I don't know how YouTube works, but I see so many channels, uh, you know, committing copyright violations and things. And uh, uh, they get, mil you know, t hundreds of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of views, and it's all good. Whereas when you try to produce original live content and actually use the tools that YouTube puts out there for you to, you know, up your channel, uh, I kind of get penalized often, I feel. Anyways, you guys don't care. And Ala Madrid saying, I want Leganes. We need an easy team. Ala Madrid, make no mistake, Leganes is not an easy team. They are, if I'm, I'm correct, seventh in, Le, in La Liga. Or if I'm not mistaken, seventh or eighth, they are not an easy team. They beat, you know, Via Real. Via Real, of course, a good side always. All right, here we go with the draw, guys. As I see, Win Jr. saying, "Who created the goal celebration towards the person who assisted it?" It would seem Messi is like, ah, I don't know. Let me get to your question in a second. Let me flip this so we can all enjoy this uh, exciting. I was going to say Champions League non draw, not a Champions League draw, but the Copa del Rey draw, of course. 
keep commenting in the comments section. Sorry about that. I just got a call in. Uh, I need to action and I'll uh, make sure that I answer your questions as I see Omer saying return to the D return of Make sure what about now Can you still see it now? Dude the screen is black <laughs> Okay, good 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 good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me flip the screen Thank you guys for your comments You guys helping me out Mira, Real Madrid. Leganés, Real Madrid. Leganés, Real Madrid. Oh boy, a la Madrid. You got what you wanted, a la Madrid. You got what you wanted. You wanted Leganés. You wanted Leganés. Now you got Leganés. I see a lot of you guys saying, fuck, Real Madrid got an easy team. A la Madrid, you got what you wanted. I'm telling you. The way Leganes is playing right now and the, and the way Real Madrid are playing right now, that is not an easy uh, that is not an easy matchup for Real Madrid. I'm very excited for this one. It's a good game. It's a good game. Uh, I fancy Leganes' chances. I do. I, I think that if Real Madrid continues to play the way that they've been playing so far, they're going to have an extremely tough time against this Leganes side who is nothing to be underestimated. Absolutely not. Make no mistake. Um, they are, I think, seventh or eighth in, in the league. All right, let me see who's next. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they're now uh, taking the ball for the draw. Or, uh, sorry, for, for who has home advantage. Oh, no. Uy, Espanol. Los Periquitos. Los Periquitos next out of the draw. Butragueño. Ask, being asked about... Whatever, usual stuff that they talk about. Every team is tough. Bloody, bloody, blah. Johnny Carlos saying... Barça getting Espanol. <laughs> Espanol. I think I have a feeling that you might be right. I think you might be right. I think we, you know, I think a Catalan derby is what I wanted. And I think we're going to get it, guys. Anthony, Antonio saying Leganes is ninth in the league. Are they ninth? They dropped down to ninth. I thought they were seventh. Blue Star, Real Madrid got Leganes to answer your question. As Habib is saying, he wants Sevilla. He wants to see a Barça Sevilla. That would be fun. Always fun, of course. As my man with the bald head pulls out of the draw. <laughs> yeah, boy. What did I say? What did I say? Un derby catalan. And that's what we got. Espanol Barça. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. A little bit of chispa. Espanol right now going through a very tough time. Um, you know, you have, uh, what's his name? Quique Sanchez Flores. Not at all happy with the way things are going. Um, he wants to leave to Stoke City. So very exciting draw for Barca. Of course, always passionate matches against Espanol. So make no mistake, they're going to take this game very serious. But right now, Espanol in a moment that uh, they're going through an identity crisis. Apparently, Quique Sanchez Flores wants to leave because he's not happy. He feels like the project has kind of hit its peak. So he feels like se ha quedado como congelado. It's like the project has is, is gotten frozen. It's not moving anywhere. It's not progressing the way that uh, he wants it to go. And uh, he's kind of ready to pack his bag and go to Stoke City. Will the draw change that? Will that uh, change his opinion? Who knows? Um, I don't know. I don't know. As I see now, Athletic Club or uh, Club de Atletico de Madrid now being pulled out of the ball. Uh, Amor there doing the honors. Uh, but uh, very interesting draw. I'm happy that, you know, my wish, look at that. My wish got granted and Ala Madrid's wish got granted. Ala Madrid wanted uh, Leganes here on this chat and um, I called a Catalan Derby and we got it, guys.
guys. We got it. Good stuff. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Very happy. Let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, <clears throat> Espanol 14th in the league. Yeah, they're not going uh, through good time. However, it's kind of like the Clásico. It never really matters where the opponent is in the league. Un Clásico es un Clásico the same way that a Derby is un Derby. Of course, when Espanol is in the moment that they're in, Barça has to be the clear favorite. I mean, Barça is always going to be the favorite against Espanol. Uh, I'm not creating any illusion here that uh, is going to be, you know, any different that Espanol maybe is the favorite. But, you know, over in Cornellà, in El Prat, it could be a tightly contested match uh, for sure. As, ooh, Atlético de Madrid against Sevilla. Big, 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 big tie. That's going to be a cracker right there. Sevilla, of course, on the rebound after having got, given the boot to Berizzo. Oh, my gosh. Imagine that you get testicular cancer or prostate cancer. You make a full recovery. You go back to work and your boss says, thank you, but no thanks. There's the door again. You're out of here, buddy, because uh, we don't need you anymore. How's that for a welcome back to work? Jesus Christ. Sevilla showing no mercy to Berizzo who I thought was kind of on a rebound and doing, you know, pretty good uh, considering, you know, how obviously the season started for Sevilla. We all know that Sevilla, an excellent team, didn't start the best way possible, but I thought was recuperating their form. <sighs> Berizzo there being shown no mercy. And over the weekend, they paid for it. They paid for it in the Sanchez Bijuan, the Sevilla derby ending... 5-3 uh, in the favor of the their local city rivals, Betis, of course, uh, with an epic historic game for that matter. Uh, Joaquin also finally, such a legend, man. Joaquin saying, anybody that will come back before 5 a.m. tonight from partying will get una multa, will get a, uh, a, a fine sent to their home. So a lot of the... The Beticos there celebrating late into the night uh, over the weekend to celebrate that epic, historic victory over their city rivals uh, against Sevilla Football Club. As I see Valencia and pull it out a draw. I'll give you guys a little... All right. We'll do it later. Uh, I see you guys blowing up the chat. Let me see what's good in the comments. Misha saying, I wanted Alaves just because in the case that Messi would have at least one more day off. Uh, Alaves, of course, are, uh, uh, were our rivals last uh, season in, in, the, uh, in, the, in a Copa del Rey final as Valencia pulled Alaves. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind, but uh, Valencia Alaves is the uh, other matchup. Valencia, heavy favorites, of, of course, clear favorites against the. Um, Alaves Football uh, Club de Football, who is going through somewhat of a reconstruction after having, of course, sold so many of their key players over the summer. Um, and uh, Llorente, one of them, of course. As Blaugrana is saying, Sevilla and Eleti, the strongest one. That is definitely a mouthwatering clash there. As uh, I see one more ball being pulled out of the bowl. Oh. Deportivo Alaves, just to confirm, I wasn't behind, but of course, through logic, it meant that Valencia had to be pulled Alaves, but formality there. Uh, Antonio saying, do you think we'll sign any more players this window? <laughs> Antonio, yo, Antonio not having enough with getting Coutinho in, uh, let alone, you know, Yerry Mina in defense. Asking if we need more, if we want more. No, I don't think so. And Antonio, I think that is it. That is enough for now. Uh, the 120 million fixed uh, for Coutinho. Plus, what some reports are saying, as I give you a quick glimpse of the matchups. So there we see Leganes against Real Madrid, Espanol against Barça, uh, Atletico against Sevilla, and Valencia against Alaves. Um, but uh, just to answer your question, no, I don't think we'll get any more players. I don't think we need any more players. Right now, we have uh, an overbooking of players. Um, Valverde himself, known, of course, as a, as a manager that likes to keep the team short, compact. Right now, he has a squad of 26 players. 
that is two more than he likes he likes to he wanted to keep it to a 24 player squad even 22 he said is ideal for him 22 players in the squad so we can even argue that there are four play overbooking of four players um so we need to ship some players off man uh we're not gonna get any more that's for sure uh it looks like denny suarez is heavily linked with uh napolis napoli i say that with a heavy heart because because all of you guys, all of you D-Spot loyals will know that I uh, have a very soft spot for Denis Suarez. I believe that his future is with this club. Uh, at least I hope so, because I believe in him. I've always thought that whenever he links up with Messi, good things happen, goals happen. But uh, we'll see. He, of course, wants playing time. He's a top quality player who deserves playing time so if you can get it at a squad like napoli where I, that i think suits his playing style napoli playing excellent football you know barca style football guardiola style football uh i think he would be, fit very well in that team so i wish him all the best if he does go uh deulofeo being linked of course with the likes of inter milan and napoli for that matter uh i think he has his also his um he's probably packing his bags wanting to leave because he has less chances than Denis Suarez to, to, to get, you know, continuous playing time. Uh, another player that, of course, we all hope be leaving is uh, Arda Turan. Turan, I think, is, uh, if not, you know, he, he needs to accept this. Uh, he needs to accept this, uh, this um, uh, offer that uh, the Turkish club is giving him because it's his only hope, man. I mean, I, I believe that he is a still a quality player. I never doubted his uh, quality whatsoever, but he just he doesn't fit in Barca and the managers are not uh, they're not happy with with him whether it is because of his attitude or because of his playing style i'm not sure but he needs to be you know wanting to leave because he's just too good of a player to sit on the bench regardless of how much he's earning which is a lot at barca i think he's earning the, around six million a year which is a lot of money and a lot of teams they don't want to pay him that so that i mean that already says a lot if a player the quality like uh arda turan is not being picked up by any of the other team it can't just be because of quality. It must be because of his attitude, and uh, which you know leaves a lot to desire. I see a lot of you guys uh, mentioning Gomez, Gomez to Juve. Any best for Lord Gomez? I, I'm gonna say this right now to you. I hope and I wish Andre Gomez stays. Uh, a lot of you will be surprised. A lot of you will disagree with me. I like how he's been progressing. I like how he has been playing. I. Thought he played well yesterday. I thought he played well in the in the Metropolitano uh, in that four three three formation when he's playing at the top with the front three. Uh, Jack Long saying no, D. Yes, yes. I don't. I like how he's playing. He's not a player that when he plays in a four three three at, with the top three strikers that we want to uh, disequilibrate to basically off balance the other team but he's not a he's, he's not that type of player what we do need him for and what he's good for is to basically hold long possessions of the ball get attract players on to him to him open up spaces uh he's a physical big player uh, and i th i think he recently he's been doing a bang up job in that sense so uh, um you know, if he leaves uh Sorry, if he leaves, I wish him well. I, um, you know, I don't, uh, I certainly don't wish him any harm. You know, uh, yesterday I was very happy to hear Camno appl applauding him and us get rid of that kind of bullying almost that we've been doing of Andre Gomez, I feel. You know, every time that he touched the ball in the past, uh, there's been this kind of, you know, run run, like this, this, this. Uh, electricity or, or, or kind of murmuring uh, through the Camno, just just waiting for a mistake to happen. And um, I'm happy for him that, uh, you know, that he, he's, he's getting better and he's over this slump. And, you know, is he a fantastic player? You know, probably not a fantastic player. Do I think that a role player from La Masia could fill in what he's doing, the likes of an Alenia, let's say? Yeah, I probably do. And I hope that Alenia does get the opportunity. But, um, you know, I'm just not really in favor of, you know, bullying players when they're wearing Barca shirts. Uh, I'm not 
not really in favor of ridic ridiculing or, uh, players when they uh, try their best or when they're just not going through a very good phase. I'd rather just you know keep supporting them and and uh, until you know, like but like I said, if if uh, Andre Gomez leaves, I hope he leaves for a good amount, uh, and that's also why I think it's our responsibility to support players because you know Andre Gomez came for thirty five million plus uh, twenty optional. Um, and we don't want to sell him for one million, and that's also down to us. If we ridicule ridicule him and make fun of him, and the papers bash him left and right, then you know his value drops. So uh, if anything, if you're not an Andre Gomez fan, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm his biggest fan either. But if anything, you know, support him so that we can uh, keep his value at a stock that we can, you know, sell him off to for a reasonable amount. Because I certainly think that he's worth, you know, 25 million, and and that, you know, if he's sold on, that it should be for a reasonable amount like that. Um, in any case, guys, that is pretty much it for me. I see you guys. I'm, I'm going to get to uh, a lot of your questions as, as I'll, I'll try to answer a few of them as I'm slowly signing off here. Uh, Johnny Carlos saying, I'm happy the Gomez hate has gone down. That was some stupid shit. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you. Blaugrana saying, Rafinha, he didn't even get a chance with Valverde. Man, he's been injured. Sorry, guys. Let me know if you can see the screen. I just got a call in. Uh, can you still see me? Because earlier the call kind of made the screen go black. Can you still see me? Let me know. Uh, if you don't say anything, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, Rafinha has been injured, Blaugrana. Um, and maybe he will go. Maybe, I think it would be a good option, Celta. Uh, there's Rafinha's being linked with Celta. I think if I was Rafinha, I would be thinking seriously that maybe that would be a good option, even as on a loan for that matter. So uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. Good, guys. I'm happy you guys uh, can see me. Omar saying, will we see a better version of uh, Lucas Digne going forward? Possibly. I think Luca, Lucas Digne as well has been, um, hasn't been that bad of late. You know, you know, he had some injury problems himself. And uh, I think, you know, I hope that as a fourth uh, flanker, he would, uh, he, he can stay. And I, I wish, I expect the best of him in that sense. You know what I mean? Um, as Misha saying, what do you think about our knife? Uh, I hope that our knife, our knife will stay. I, he will, you know, I hope that he is not going to be too eager to get a first team cr contract. Of course, with Dembele, with Suarez, with Messi, with potentially Griezmann coming, it's not that he will get a lot of minutes uh, anytime soon. But, uh, you know, I hope that he's patient enough and, and, and thinks long term. And uh, yeah, basically, he stays with the club. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Last question, Blaugrana saying, do you think Suarez is back in form? What is it now? Six goals, seven goals, seven, seven eight goals in the last uh, six matches, something like that. Speaks for itself, man. Suarez, 100% back, 100%. He looks enchufado, he looks engaged, he looks hungry, uh, he, looks, uh, he looks the real deal, and I'm happy for him. I've been welcoming, welcoming, welcoming him with open arms. Of course, we needed him, and he, and he's there. Um, all right, guys. I know that there's Marcus talking about Samper. Extra, yeah, difficult injury for Samper. Wish him all the best and uh, hope that he will recover soon. Because in my opinion, he is still uh, the re the uh, future, uh, uh, the, the 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 revelation of um, or the the substitute future sub substitute for Busquets, of course. All right, guys, I'm going to be signing off. Um, if you're new to this channel, I always say it. Make sure you subscribe to all you guys subscribed. Click that notification button so you see when I come up and, uh, and you know, you don't miss any live shows. Of course, subscribe to the social media channels as well at This Is The Spots on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You'll find me, okay? We'll do a bunch of funny shit on those channels as well. And uh, thanks, guys, for joining Barça Español or Español Barça, uh, Catalan Derby it is, Leganes Real Madrid, which I think is an interesting, very interesting matchup, will not be easy for Real Madrid given how they've been playing 
and El Coco, the, the mouth-watering clash for all the neutrals, Atletico de Madrid against Sevilla. Very cool. And of course, Valencia uh, Alaves uh, finishes off this Copa del Rey draw. Good stuff, guys. Happy to talk to you. Um, make sure you tune in next time. Biscal Barça, Forza Barça, T-Spot in the house. Thanks for joining. We'll speak soon.